Hey guys, it's Stars here. So I am going to show you how to first set up your Orimo program. So after you've installed Orimo, it should pop up um, something like this. It should look like this. Um, this will be your file location um, to where your samples go down here. Um, this this type list over here, I mean this rec list over here, will actually be in Hiragana. If you have downloaded the um, Otao starter kit that I have provided it will have you can install this and set it up this way So I'm going to show you how to set up your Orimo program first So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to set your recording folder So you you can um, use the result folder that is provided or you can go and make your own Folder um, and click on that. So as you can see now, it's going to my desktop now after you've done that, you want to load your voice list. So the voice list that I've provided is going to be this one right here, Romaji CB Reckless, and then it says Orimo in um, parentheses or whatever those are called. Um, and you will get the in and out breath samples, and then it will be sorted in alphabetical order for you. Um, this is the easiest to read if you do not know um, hiragana, um, what each sound it looks like in hiragana. Um, this is very helpful because most people do understand the romaji coding that do not speak um, other like that do not speak Japanese or any other um, languages that use um, different types of characters such as. Um, I can't think of anything right now. I know that Russian uses special characters for all their letters, and I know that Chinese does, and Taiwanese, and um, I just don't know what the formats are called. Anyways, so after you've done that, um, so you have, you're going to, you've loaded your voice list, then you're going to want to go to Options, Recording Style Settings. Um, if you have back, um, background music, you're going to want to select one of these two, but if not, then you're just going to want to have it selected to the top setting. After that, you're going to want to go to audio settings. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select your microphone. So I have a couple of different um, options, of course, but I am going to go with the one that is the one that I've Bar the microphone that I'm borrowing from my father at the moment and then you're going to want to hit apply okay after that you're going to want to go to your advanced settings your advanced settings are best suited if you are trying to keep an eye on your pitch so there are a couple of different settings um, I have mine customized um, so I have like special color coding and stuff but you do not need to have all the special color coding. You can have the default color coding. It doesn't matter at all. So when recording a new tau, you're going to want to have a set pitch. You're going to want to record in one singular pitch through your Otao's voice bank. So um, my bass voice is about D4. So um, this is not how you set this up. So my target tone down here. You're going to want to select your target tone. Um, then up here, you're going to want to. Um, this is your maximum. This is your minimum. I believe that is correct. Um, and then show target zone. And then you hit apply. All right. So after you do that, you are all set to start recording your Utau. So, other than that, you don't really need any other settings. You don't even really need the target tone setting if you don't want to have it. Um, it's just nice to have. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you'd like to continue watching the tutorial videos, please click on the link that says next in the, in the description below.